Welcome back my king and queens. It is queen of queen she me and today I'm here to share with you guys my current favorites. If you guys have been following me for quite some time now then you guys know that I typically do not do current favorites all the time but when I find something new and I fall in love with it I definitely have to come on here and share with my fam. So without further ado we're gonna go around ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, so first things first, you know, being an African-American woman, you know, a lot of us were already full and voluptuous in all the right places. I did fall in love with the Too Faced Lip Injection. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, you use this thing twice a day. I have been using this for like over a month now, I would say. I started out with the trial size. The trial size is about $14 to $16 at Sephora. And then the actual big daddy, as I call it, is actually $22. Now, I think there is two different kinds of the full size one because the first one that I tried was not in a pink, a pink box. It was actually in a white packaging. But this one says it is the Too Faced Lip Injection and it is the Ultimate Lip Plumper. So this is what the packaging looks like. And oh my goodness, you guys. I am so in freaking love with this stuff. Like I use it every morning. I use a lip scrub almost every other morning before I go to work. But I use the lip injections and so um, you just use this and then the only thing you do, you just use it twice a day. And yeah, and it has a doe foot applicator and oh my gosh, you guys, it is so freaking soft. It is mad soft. So I just love this stuff and um, yeah, and my lips have been getting so much fuller. You guys, I'm crazy. Like, I'm putting it on now and it's at night. I don't even need it. A lot of the times, like, I will just use a moisturizer and then I'll put this on top of my lips before I actually leave the house. And it does give you a very minimal tingling sensation. But, you guys, like, I have noticed a significant difference in my lips. Like, especially around the bottom part of my lips. Like, it's so much fuller right here. And then on the top sides of my lip. I've had this for like two weeks. So yeah, probably within the next two weeks, I have to repurchase it again. It's only $22. So imagine what you spend $22 on throughout the rest of the month. Okay, so if you haven't seen my latest video from Influencer with me sharing with you guys what I received recently from my Endless Summer Vox Box, I will link the card up top here. And then I will also list it down below in the description bar so you can watch that video after you get finished watching this one. During that unboxing from Influencer, I shared with you guys a brand new product that was sent to me free for testing purposes. And it is from the company called Max Factor. I was sent the um, Max X Factor Masterpiece High Volume Mascara. And then I also received their Masterpiece High Precision Liquid Eyeliner. And they are both in the color Velvet Black. And I love this freaking wand on it because one, it is so freaking huge. And then two, like this is the blackest, blackest mascara I have ever used, you guys. If you guys know, I'm a, make some, I'm a mascara junkie. I love mascara. This mascara is phenomenal. It doesn't have like a weird scent to it. Um, and it is buildable. The only thing I will say about this one is that it is a high volume mascara. It's not going to give you that lengthening effect that you would expect from a mascara. But if you're wanting volume so that you can have the illusion of actually seeming like you have falsies on, you're going to like this mascara. I'm telling you guys. And then also to this felt tip liner, you guys, like I have been wearing this fucking felt tip liner every weekend every weekend before I, I was sent this product like i could never achieve a fucking cat eye a wing liner period none of that kind of shit but this is so easy you don't have to think about it you don't have to twist it or anything like that it's flat but then it, it slims out so if you're wanting like a skinny line then you just make sure you kind of slightly curve it so that way the edge of it can actually just create the straight line but then when you go to fill in you kind of flip it so that way it can start filling in the actual you know wing liner no brainer you just create the line and then you just connect it and then oh my gosh you just fill it in and it is a really 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 true black and it fills in phenomenally so 
I am, I'm like, these are like two new favorites of mine and I have just been using these like religiously like for the last two to three While weeks. we're still on beauty, the next thing that I picked up and a lot of people are already aware of, a lot of people, not even just on YouTube, people on social media period, I have seen them use this and this is the original formula airspun loose face powder and oh my gosh you guys, I fell in love with this stuff. First of all, I fell in love with it because of the smell. It smells so freaking good. It has a, a very light scent. Um, I don't have sensitive skin, but if you have sensitive skin, I definitely would not recommend this for you because it's fragrant, so your skin might react to it, but to each his own. If you want to try it out, try it out, but just be careful. But it does not give you a white cast, and it does set my face pretty well. I have used it before actually going in with my foundation. And then I have actually used this to set my concealer. And I like using it both ways. And preferably, I actually like using it before I apply before I apply my actual foundation. So if you're like myself, if you're oily skin just regularly, it doesn't matter what you do. If you just have oily skin, period, and you like to wear makeup, but you have to be careful because you have to make sure you set your face. Definitely pick up the airspun powder. I got this from Walgreens. I think I paid like eight bucks for it. I don't even remember. It might, y'all. I've had this for like a month now, and I've been using it, and I really do love it. And it just has a pop. You just pull the top off like so, and then it has a very fluffy um, powder applicator on it, or whatever, whatever you call these things. I don't even know. And um, yeah, you see, I used it a couple of times, but I'll just take a damp beauty blender and just kind of pounce it in here, and then I actually apply it onto my face, but. I really do like it um and again it does have a scent to it and um yeah but it is a translucent powder so that's why you don't get that white cast or the ashy look um when wearing your makeup if you actually use the airspun powder so a, a couple of my favorite youtubers um they've actually used it and so that's why i kind of went on ahead and purchased it because um yeah if they buy it um, 9 times out of 10 they love it and if they don't love it they're going to let your ass know. Alright so. so the last thing as far as beauty wise, makeup wise, whatever. It is my Sephora 10 hour wear perfection foundation and it is in the shade Cafe Latte. And it is a matte foundation and oh my gosh you guys. This stuff is phenomenal. Please do not sleep on Sephora and their Sephora collection. A lot of people are really misconceived with Sephora. A lot of people just go in there because, you know, a lot of the high-end brands are in there. But Sephora actually, believe it or not, has a lot of nice products from their own collection. I wanted a new foundation. And I remember that I had seen someone review this on YouTube. Again, I think it was Vanity and Sanity 119 here on YouTube. And I just went in there and I was just like, oh, bam. I was like, that's not expensive at all. Like this foundation is twenty dollars like, it is a 10 hour wear foundation i have worn it for about six to eight hours and i am an oily girl i live in florida and it's fucking humid all the time so those three together recipe for disaster so when wearing this foundation you guys like i would definitely make sure you set your face anyways especially if you're like me again an oily girl but you just want to make sure to you just set your face period because you don't want your makeup sliding all over your face this is a buildable foundation it is i would say it's medium to full coverage but more closer to the full coverage side with this foundation though you guys like i would definitely repurchase it i used it all summer long and it is now fall you know it's october and yeah and i wore this week before last and i'm still very very impressed with it so um this is a new favorite this is like it, this may become one of my new holy grail um foundations because again it's not expensive it's only twenty dollars i mean you can find it at sephora and sephora has a very wide range of foundation shades women of color definitely go into your sephora if you're looking for makeup and if you are not wanting to spend a bunch of coins on high-end foundation definitely check out the sephora collection okay guys. so now that we're finished with makeup beauty and all that good jazz we're just gonna go right on ahead into like face care body care hair care product but current favorites i guess that's what, you, that's what i would call it i never came back to you guys with an initial review and demo of the tatcha indigo um enzyme powder but oh my gosh you guys 
I use this stuff all the freaking time. I use it about one to two times a week. A little goes a long way. Um, and this is what the packaging looks like. This is their smaller um, container of it. The larger size container is about $58 or $68. I'm not quite sure, but it is expensive. No lie. This is what the Tatcha Indigo packaging looks like. And you just pour a half a teaspoon into your wet hands, um, add a little bit of water, and it does create a foam, and then you just massage it onto the skin, and like, oh my gosh, you guys, it feels so good. You just feel like, I don't know, you, you just feel like you're doing something to your skin, but you can, you can feel the difference, though, in your skin. And um, yeah, you just massage it on for about 10 to 20 seconds, and then you just rinse it off, and then you go in with like your favorite facial moisturizer. But what I love about this packaging, um, not just because of the color and it's just kind of like, it just makes you feel like you're just luxurious. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But it has like a little, um, a little lip on it. So you just slide it up and then you'll just shake the actual powder out into your hands. And so that way, that will prevent you from wasting products. So I think that was just dope as fuck. So shout out to Tatcha for doing that because you guys like, this stuff is no lie, like the bomb. So like if you're looking for like a really nice exfoliator, you know, but you have sensitive skin, definitely check out looking into enzyme powders because they really do help to exfoliate your skin and you will notice a brightness of your skin as well. So you can pick this up at your Sephora. Luckily for me, I got mine free. That's why if you're not a Sephora member, you definitely need to sign up because you can get a lot of good perks with being signed up with Sephora. All right, the next two items I'm gonna share with you guys are facial moisturizers. The first one is from Belief, and it's the True Cream Aqua Bomb. Oh my gosh. Y'all, words could not express how sad I was when I finally used the last drop of this bad boy. I got this with my Sephora VIB points, and um, I wish I would've gotten three versus just two because the full size product is $38 and of course it's, big, it's a lot bigger than this you guys I would say I would say it's about the size of my next item that I'm going to share with you guys that I just showed you but it's about that size and it's about $38 but when I tell you it's an aqua bomb no lie an aqua bomb when I was using this for like three to six weeks my skin has such a nice suppleness to it like my face was so soft hydrated I barely had any like dry patches or anything like that because again I have combination skin so my skin is just crazy it just does what the hell it wants to do but when I was using this you guys when I had this oh my gosh it's like my skin was at its best so I do plan on repurchasing this and I want to make this a permanent part of my skincare regimen because if you're just really needing an overall good facial moisturizer, definitely check out Belief. And if you're, again, part of the Sephora VIB or just a Sephora member, period, use your points, you guys. And that's what I did. I'll try out high-end products that I'm thinking about purchasing before I make the big plunge because it's just, it's just, it just makes sense. Like, why spend a whole bunch of money on something you know and you're not quite sure on if you're gonna really like it or not and then if you like it then go and purchase the big size so you guys save you some coins man save you some coins the next one is an oldie but it's a new goodie because when i ran out of this i had to purchase another facial moisturizer and i was like i need something to the equivalent of the aqua bomb forgot all about my ponds all about ponds you guys and i fell in love with this thing like <laughs> i fell in love with it over the last week or so so yeah it's a recent current favorite but it's for the dry skin and it's rich hydrating facial moisturizer and this is only a four dollar moisturizer you guys like no lie and it's perfect for people who are like me who have combination skin but you have to make sure that you keep your skin moisturized at the same time so you don't have any dryness which will create breakouts y'all get what i'm saying and it has such a rich and thick consistency to it and it smells so freaking good you guys like no lie so yeah so i've gotten back into using my ponds again and 
my skin has been doing a lot better i was using something else temporarily but my skin was just not being receptive to it because i had stopped using it for a while and so that's why i had to go ahead and just get a sos and just find something and i'm so happy that i rediscovered the pines all right so i only have three more items two of them are from the same brand and it is from the nubian heritage collection and it is their goat milk and chai oh my gosh you guys oh my gosh first of all we're gonna start with the butter okay we're gonna start with the butter okay so you guys know i love burlington i'm always in burlington on the weekends looking for a good deal or anything that i can get my hands on especially for natural hair care products well lately at my burlington they have been having a lot of nubian heritage products in there and so i went two or three weekends in a row and they had this there and i said let me just go ahead and just buy it so it is originally $6.49, but I paid $3.99 for it. And this is the shea butter infused with goat milk and chai. And it is for softening, hydrating, and conditioning the skin. And what I love about this stuff, you guys, is just like, oh my gosh. Like, it just smells so freaking good. Like, Mm. and it may not look like a butter but because again this is florida so it got hot in the car and then you know solidified again so it kind of separated but it still gets the job done so i use this primarily on my feet one because it's just so greasy yeah it's really greasy so i just prefer to use it on my feet in the morning and at night and then i'll just put on like some real nice plush fuzzy socks so that we can help to keep my feet, feet moisturized throughout the day and overnight as well and if you don't like goat milk or if you have never used goat milk soaps before then this may not be for you but i like goat milk goat milk soap and it is so good for the skin it leaves your skin very soft and like if you have like problematic skin or if you may have like eczema it's really good for skin like that as well so <laughs> We went to vitamin shop and I messed up and saw that they carried Nubian Heritage in there. So that's when I picked up their actual goat milk and chai soap. It's in my shower. I'm not going to show you guys what it looks like. That's like disgusting. No, but it does have actual rose extracts in there and not just the extract itself. It has actual rose petals in the actual bar of soap. It's a huge bar of soap. Um, and I paid like $5.49 or six bucks for this bar of soap. And I've been using it for about two weeks now. And I'm in love. That's the only thing that I use right now. <laughs> like, and I'll plan on going back and repurchasing it because that's just how much I have fallen in love with it. Like, I would have to put this up there next to my Dove original bar soap. Like, no lie. So, Nubian Heritage Goat Milk and Chai Body Butter and the actual soap, you guys. Like, these two. I have been rocking with them for like the last two, three weeks. Like, no lie. I have been obsessing over it. So my last and final product, and I know you guys are probably like, God damn, about time. <laughs> but my last and final product that I'm sharing with you guys, I purchased this from Sally's. You guys know I go into Sally's primarily for my Eden Body Works products. I don't go to Target. I don't go to Walmart. No, fuck that. I go to Sally's, buy two, get one free. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> And so I was checking out the clearance section, like always, and I came across this hair mist. And it is by Ion. And it is, and I don't know if it's, it's and it's a summer solutions. And it says it shields hair from damage, it hydrates, detangles, and it protects. And it's called the Miracle Summer Spray. I don't know why it's called that, but um, I love it. I love how it smells. And yeah, and it's 100% vegan. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I just shake the bottle up because you can actually see like the oil or whatever that's in there separates. But I didn't have my almond oil. That was going on. I didn't have my almond oil, but I needed something temporarily and I came across this. That's what happened. But after I used this, you guys, like the next day, when I sprayed a little bit more on there, my hair was so fucking soft. My hair had never, ever, 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 ever been that damn soft. I'm not lying to you guys. So I don't know what the original price of this is. Again, I got this on clearance for $2.99 and I do have 
two backups in that little box back there with that hair care stuff. Yes, ma'am. I went back to Sally's and I picked up whichever they had left. And it smells so good and it's just so lightweight. And yeah, and so I just spray it on my hand. I spray it on my hands. Oh my gosh, it smells just like summer. And I was just like rubbing on my hair. And that's what I was doing with my twists. I was just rubbing them on there. And for whatever reason, that next day, my hair was mad fucking soft so yeah this is going to be a part of my hair regimen this is just going to be a backup just in case i may not have like an oil or something because with being a natural you run through natural hair products and oils pretty quickly i really did fall in love with this so again this is by ion and this, and this is their summer solution miracle summer spray and you guys it just smells so freaking good all right, my king and queen. So that is pretty much it. That is this current favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, you guys know I don't come on here too often sharing current favorites because again, I really, I tend to use the same products over and over and over. But for some reason at the end of September, I came across a lot of good goodies. And also I had some that I had used before and just had forgot to share with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that red button, baby, and subscribe so that way you can be notified of new content when I upload on my channel. Thank you so much for watching my king and queens, and I will see you guys in my next upload. Be blessed.